Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. So, I'm going to do a hummingbird message. Okay? So, um, of course, by my mama's deck being just full of flowers and all that stuff, you're bound to see like uh, a whole lot of, you know, wonderful nature's creatures come up here from time to time. And you guys, I just saw a hummingbird and it was so precious. It was so special to me because I know how hummingbirds are living in a country. Like, I lived right here in this spot right here, but it was a different um, house at one time, though. All my life, um, I have moved before and um, came back here. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, but hopefully not even hopefully i won't i was about to say hopefully and fortunately i won't come back the next time i move but i'm not gonna say that because i already know what spirit has told me and i already know um what's next to my life and when i do move again i am not coming back here so when i said that i looked up and it was 111 so the portals are open you guys like um get what you want what do you want Whatever you want, go to the universe and manifest it and just say, um, talk like you already have it, you know. So, if this hummingbird comes back, then uh, <laughs> we're very special people. So, I'm not going to stay here for a long time because I just feel like the hummingbird is a hummingbird. So, you know, they don't have any feet. So, they, you know, they're always on the move. You don't, like, I don't see hummingbirds that often, but, um, when I said that, and you're saying, well, girl, I see hummingbirds all the time, then, consider yourself very special, like, if you, especially if you know you're just not in, like, uh, an area for hummingbirds, and you see hummingbirds all the time, Girls and guys, that is a message from Spirit, okay? So, I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to already tell you guys, I heard destination. I heard uh, little weird words. I heard pop popularity. I heard freedom. And I heard expression. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards. And I'm going to see what the hummingbird message is. So, sorry I don't have more evidence like I did on the butterfly that was just sitting there, you know. And I want to tell you guys something else. If you haven't seen my butterfly message, go and see that. You know, the people that commented and I heard from some people that called me and stuff that was saying how much the butterfly message resonated with them. And, um, so from, so, um... Oh, realize one thing, like, even though I put full moon in Pisces, you know, I just knew, um, under the energy of full moon and Pisces, um, that day, that was why some of the messages was coming, you know, like that, but it doesn't have to be a full moon in general, you know, you don't have to wait till the next full moon, full moon in Pisces or, um, you don't have to wait till the next full moon at all. Whenever you run across that message or whenever you see that message and it's resonating with you, then that's the message for you because the universe, you know, the universe is, is moving. Well, it's always moving and it's infinite and it's always ready to manifest. We're always manifesting, you guys, every day. Right now, at this very second, we're always manifesting, okay? So don't forget that. And um, I really feel like this is just the season for for um some of us because the thing is, when it comes to that, when it comes to season seasons um that I in which I believe in, if you don't believe in it, you don't have to don't don't even don't even put this into your spirit, okay? Don't let any psychic or anyone um guru on youtube tell you something and then all of a sudden you changing what you what you've believed in and what has helped you all of your life like don't do that okay so if i'm saying something and you don't believe in it you know if it's resonating with you and you're like you know what i've always thought about it like that and you know and you choose to believe it then good but do not allow certain things into your spirit just because you're hearing it just because you're on this video right now and i'm telling you something that you don't believe in do not allow that into your spirit i'm telling you right now okay so i'm saying i believe in seasons if you don't believe in seasons because i 
I just said, we're always manifesting and we are. So that's all some people need. That's all that they need to hear. And if that's you, do not let what I'm saying go into your spirit, okay? Because that's going to mess you up, okay? And then it won't be me who have messed you up. It would have been you that messed you up. Because at the end of the day, we are adults. And <laughs> we supposed to know how to make our own decisions, okay? So... I would just like to stress it, okay, because it's just a little something I was feeling like needed to be said. I was hearing that, so obviously Spirit wanted me to say that. So, um, but you guys, like, the reason why I say that is why we have seasons. It's because I believe in divine timing, okay? Like I, like I said, we're always manifesting. But if you're trying to manifest, look, look at all you guys. Okay, isn't that confirmation to what I'm saying? Our butterfly came back, you guys. Did you just see our butterfly? That was our butterfly. Because you remember I told you I was going to do my nails like the butterfly? This is kind of my inspiration. What I came up with. Okay, let me tell you guys what I originally planned up, planned to do did not work. Yeah, that one looks kind of crazy. So I just did this. I was going to do something else, but then um, it just... I did this and I was like, oh, that's simple and cute, so I like it. So, you guys, that's our butterfly. So, um, that was our butterfly. You guys came back and flew right in front of the camera. Did you guys see it? Okay. <laughs> Where's the hummingbird? Hummingbird, come back, okay? <laughs> I don't think the universe is just going to go against the very nature of a hummingbird, okay? It's just not going to sit still. But this is the message, and then I'm going to pull some cards and um, for more clarification. But remember those words I told you guys to hear that I heard? We're going to, let's see if it comes out. Let's see if a message comes out with those, from those words that I say in the cards. Oh my gosh, I was talking about seasons, okay? Because sometimes what we're trying to manifest, you guys, if what that is that you want is does not agree with you uh meaning if what you want if the time is if it's off it's, if it's not the right time if you're not ready to receive that you can't manifest that right now you can miss it you can manifest anything some things of course don't need a time limit okay we know that we know some things don't need a time limit and that is why we're always manifesting but some things are time sensitive because we are not ready. You know how many businesses that I started back in the day and I'm trying to manifest these things and I'm trying and I'm trying you know, every day, all day. And um, it they, they never came into full manifestation. Why? Because I wasn't ready. I didn't know that at that time, but I wasn't ready. And now I've gotten so many clarifications from, um, and, um, clarification is not really the right word i've gotten so many confirmations from spirit that this is my time and i am ready and so this stuff is happening you guys because so many of us are ready so um and i know it has has to do with you know a lot of my subscribers thank you all who have all subscribed to me thank you so much i remember i was like man if i ever get 1k i'm gonna be so freaking happy and i am I was humbled at 100 subscribers, so, and I said in another video, I don't even know if I posted that video yet, I have some that I, that I don't, you know, I post within timing, <laughs> talking about timing again, I don't post them right after I do the reading, but I was saying on a video, like, how I'm so humble, like, I don't see why some people who gets up in the millions are just, you know, a big old number of subscribers, and then they get arrogant, because, like, um, they get arrogant and, you know, they let their success just um, blow their head up as, as if it was something that they did, you know. And it, then and then I hate when people use that excuse like, oh, um, I didn't change. Um, I didn't change. I'm the same person. I'm just growing. I'm just evolving. No, baby, you got arrogant because we all know what the energy of air arrogance looks like and feels like. Okay, don't let nobody play you, okay? <laughs> just go ahead and admit it and humble yourself but you guys i feel this great big sense of responsibility the more subscribers i get and the more people watch my videos it's a little overwhelming for me and i'm getting more used to it but 
the thing is, I become even more humble. The more subscribers I get, it's just, it's like, it just levels me out, like, even more. I just become more humbled and more grateful every single time, you know. <sighs> now I'm talking, now I'm rambling about my own business when it needs to be about this hummingbird that has not came back and i didn't think it would because you know it's not the hummingbird's nature to just sit still too long okay so this is going to be called the hummingbird message and i'll be back with the reading okay you guys this is these are some of the cards that came out. And you know something that I said I'm going to start doing? At the beginning of my videos, I don't always show, like, the crystals that I have out. Because, you know, they're for energy purpose. And I feel like they're a little personal, like my business. <laughs> so, I don't always show them on every reading. But, um, I'm going to start telling you guys, like, the crystals that I have out. Because I feel like they can help someone and someone can go and get those crystals. Or maybe you've been working with those crystals yourself. So, let me go ahead and show you. I have our citrine. It's very, very positive. Okay, very, very positive energy. The citrine It's good for manifesting things. It's a very good prosperity stone. This is the azurite. And it has a lot to do with transformation, what I use it for. I think it's the azurite. I think that's what it is. But it is what it's used for, though. This is a red jasper and um i do this you know what i use this for when it has a lot to do with the matters of the heart but it can help balance your root chakra um it has a very fast paced energy energy but that's this this is really what i use it for when it has something to do with the heart and it's probably not even you know recommended for that but i use it for that so you guys remember that this is just a little clear quartz okay you know, it's kind of like selenite. Like, it does everything. So, I don't really use it for protection like I do selenite. I have my necklace out again. The Geo and the, you know, the Clear Quartz. The Labradorite. I use this. I have a lighter one. And I use it when I have to do lighter work. And sometimes I'm used to do the darker work. When it's just more of a stronger energy that needs to be had. And, um... I love these. I use these all the time. And, um, so this is a Labradorite. And it's beautiful. I use this when it has to do anything with the mind. Uh, when I really have to sort a lot of things out in my mind. And when I need psychic protection. And I feel like this has, this is my, um, this is a, a jade egg. And I do use this for positivity, for the things to just be as positive as possible. And no negative energy coming in at all. This is what I use this for, my jade egg. And, um, okay, you guys, let me tell you about your message. So, this card came out because Spirit is saying that, um, you need peace. What I got from the hummingbird, this is what I'm getting. And I heard freedom. And I was wondering why I heard that. Because this is message can, I hope that it will set you free. And you know what? It will set some people free. Because this is you right here who is stopping your manifestations from coming in. But you guys remember when I was, what I was saying earlier in the video? How you have to... um. How you have to just speak things, you know, like, you have to just say things the way you want them to happen. Um, you have to talk as if it's already there, as, as if it already came. And you cannot manifest anything if you're always in this um, mindset. And you're just limiting yourself based on your belief and how you feel about yourself. You guys, when you find out who you are, I've said this several times in videos. When you find out who you are and you start to love yourself better, that's when a lot of other things... Because that's what happened to me. That's when you start realizing just what your very calling is, you know. So, like loving yourself has a lot to do with you not knowing not getting to where you want to be in life because if you don't love yourself you most likely don't really know yourself so you have to get to know yourself in order to get to where you're going to in life and this is what's stopping a lot of you guys manifestation manifestation self-sabotage the things that you tell yourself the things that are not even true okay so you know and I'm going through a little bit of that right now okay 
so uh myself so you guys some of you guys please work on your solar plexus chakra this yellow card is here and i'm just feeling like that and i don't know if it's the yellow or the orange but they kind of like interchangeable when it comes to the the solar plexus and the shaker sacral chakra colors okay they're not the same i'm not saying that so but i am saying work on your solar plexus chakra and um work on your uh, heart chakra so and this is right here saying spirit is fixing to take care of all you guys needs so don't worry about that some of you guys are just about to manifest period you're about to manifest in general okay so you know this is your time it's going to happen you guys when i'm saying these messages and my messages take what's if it whatever applies to you take it if it does not apply to you don't take it because they are general messages and i'm talking to different people okay so the entire message might not be for you okay certain parts of the message is for you this is a very specific person this is another person it might be one person you know what i'm saying so but this is um spirit is saying for whoever this resonates with you're going to manifest period you're going to manifest in general because this is your time everything that you that needs to be taken care of you're wondering if you if if you have enough of time um this is for some people if your life's going to get cut off you know or if something is going to happen to your credit or something like that because you feel like you're running out of time you know what he doesn't you know what <laughs> our creator who Whatever you call him, God, Lord, Yahweh, I say. Doesn't always come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. But that does not mean that your lights won't get cut off. But continue to have faith because everything, this is saying everything you're trying to manifest and everything that you care about, spirit cares about also. And this is just going to happen. Um, see that heart right there in hands? To me, what I'm getting right now is just saying like, give all your troubles over to your spiritual team okay they're gonna handle this and they're gonna take care of this whatever it is it's gonna be taken care of regardless okay when i saw this father loves card i just picked up masculine energy this is for someone who needs um to um who needs to tap into uh their more masculine side and so and i do hear female and so you need more of a um get up and go type of energy there are um there are um meditations for that on youtube um how to tap into your how do they call it masculine energy i don't know but you'll find them. So like I was saying, this was just kind of confirmation to this right here. A lot of people are not manifesting what they want because they need to. And I've said this so many times in my reading, you guys. And the thing is, I've always attracted these type of people towards me my whole life when it comes to working with your self-esteem and your self-image. Uh, because, of course, I've had to. And that's one reason why I can say these things because, you know, I've been through this myself. And this will stop you from manifesting and getting to your place a destination okay i heard destination earlier so a lot of you are trying to get to your place of destination wherever they may be there may be a move or that just may be a change in a career you know or that just may be getting to wherever you want to be in life you have to learn how to love yourself first you have to learn how to know who you are first okay because that will actually stop you from manifesting okay so, you know, it's kind of like, how can you ask spirit to take you somewhere when you don't really quite know yourself where you're just trying to go, okay? So, this is basically saying work on your root chakra. A lot of you guys just need to, when it comes to this and this, um, sacral chakra, heart chakra, work on, work on that. Work on your root chakra when it comes to, because uh, some of you guys need to ground yourself, okay? So, um, and I'm going to suggest that you um, go on YouTube and just look up what, look up how to ground yourself. And look up um, how to balance your root chakra, because this is what some of you guys need to do. And you need to do that in order for, because, hey, it's the first chakra anyways. You need to do that in order to get to this. Some of you guys just really need grounding. Like I said, you need to work on your masculine energy um and um uh, because some of you need more of a get up and go um type of mentality in you okay and this right here is just saying don't give up in this okay because spirit is going to give you a peace and like the christian bible say a peace that surpasses 
all understand it. Hey, I don't know if that's in the Christian Bible or not, but when I was Christian, I used to hear that all the time in church, and I love that. So, this is just saying, whatever you're going through, don't even worry about it, okay? Because, like, you're going to be so peaceful. When you get to that place of destination, you're going to be so peaceful, okay? And I'm going to pull some more cards from my, um... From my Lord Ganesha deck. And that's all for this. So if you feel like you want to you know, leave the video. You can go ahead. Or if you feel necessary to stay for the next reading. For my Lord of Ganesha cards. Then stay tuned. Okay so I'm glad this message is a little bit more positive. But I always feel like. And I've said this before. All of my messages are positive. Some of them are kind of a little hard to accept. Just because we have to do the work on ourselves. And. That's one thing I love about my channel because I always say at the end, continue to come and grow with me because I'm growing every day, you're growing every day, and that's what we do on this channel. We grow and we grow together, and everyone who's usually led to my channel, and I hear you when you when I do personal readings for you, I hear you when you're in the, in the comments and you tell me that you've actually done the work on yourself. So I love the type of people that I attract because you know that we have to do work on ourselves in order to get to what? prosperity in order for us to prosper and this message is basically saying remember when i was saying i was hearing um i was hearing like uh i think i heard expression and um a transformation or something like that okay now my phone don't want to focus okay so this is this is reassuring this acceptance card is here you're about to get to your place of destination okay and I love this for you guys. And this is Spirit congratulating some of you. Saying because of your steadfastness, because you did not give up, because you are you were a conqueror and you are more than a conqueror and you've just been so brave, then you are about to prosper. You're about to get to your place of prosperity. Okay, and I was just hearing popularity earlier. And I just feel like for some of you guys, you're just about to come into something that's just going to um kind of if you're a youtuber i guess you're maybe your um subscriber count is going to grow up and just for some of you um at your job you're going to get a promotion that's just going to make you um when i mean more popular it's just going to make you you're going to have more of a um more of a what's the word i'm trying to use responsibility okay when it comes to the popularity word and some of you guys are just about to do something that's just gonna have to that's just gonna have to that's just going to um put you out there um uh, make you more known some type of way okay and like this energetic movement card this is just basically saying like and and you're going to get uh you're going to get and i'm just hearing money okay we all know money, money is energy, okay? If you're trying to manifest money, what you need to do is manifest where you're trying to go. And then the money will come, okay? Because money is energy and it, you know, it moves like every other energetic thing, okay? So that's just what I'm hearing when I see that. And I also just hear transformation. And like I said, this right here is just basically saying that, um... The spirit is rewarding you for your steadfast fastness and you not giving up all your hard work and you're about to go to your place of destiny where you supposed to be prosperity came out because you know this is confirmation you're about to prosper at this place so you know if you heard the last message do the work that you need to do on yourself but i feel like a lot of you that are led to this car have already done that work so my first message stands because it came out some of us have to do on the do the work on yourself and some of you are have already done the work on yourself and that's why you're about to go to this place of this and that this your place of destiny okay wherever they said where whether it's a physical move or it's just like a um or job promotion or just whatever you want in life it's about to happen so this is how spirit is trying to make you as carefree as a child, okay? Trying to give you a childlike attitude, a childlike expression. So, this is how you're going to be in a little while. You know, isn't that good, you guys? To know that in a little while, that you're going to be like this. You know how children are? Little children? 
you know how they just don't care and when they get mad at something you know like and that's how spirit is trying to make you make some of you guys not to sit around all day in the well in the pity party okay and let me encourage some of you guys uh if you have if if you have your 24 hours in a day you know according to whenever you wake up you know how many hours you have in a day what you cannot do is spend that time in a bad mood okay you cannot um literally do not use all of those hours up negatively okay like um whenever a bad mindset come try your best and i know you guys haven't we all been there i've been there you know so it's okay it's very human like of you so whenever a bad um moment comes like change that thought it's just like some of you if you have a bad thought and you're staying in that mindset all day long that means that when that bad thought comes you're not doing anything to change that bad thought you know that means like um some people that that will kind of sound like you want to stay in that bad mood all day or you just don't know how to encourage yourself and you know what you guys i put a message on facebook yesterday like i almost got discouraged until i reminded myself troubles don't last always and that was so true like i was about to just get into my feelings and then i just heard troubles don't last always you have to encourage yourself you guys because times are hard but hey whoever this message is for it's like you've been doing the work on yourself and you know i'm trying my best to motivate you guys for the ones who need it and some of you guys have been encouraging yourself and you're about to get to that place of destination it's about to be very fast okay that's probably why that jasper is out because i was saying it's like very fast movement some of you guys carry a red jasper around with you hey this is about to happen very soon you guys within a couple of days okay so that's what i'm hearing within a couple of days within the next five days get prepared okay gabrielle either is telling you to get prepared so you will not miss it okay you guys let me know down in the comments how well this resonated with you this is a hummingbird message and you know what um what i was getting um like a hummingbird um how they're just not afraid to be themselves you know while you're getting to know yourselves while we are getting to know you know ourselves one thing you can do is just not be afraid to be who you are and be yourself and if anyone don't like it or understand it then they're just not meant to be in your life you know and if you want to keep them in your life then how hey, you're gonna have to be strong enough to be like okay well i'm gonna be myself whether you like it or not so that's all you guys continue to come and grow with me and subscribe bye